Hey guys, um, this is the additional video or the pre, doesn't matter, it is still part of the front split video and the first one I did we were using blocks, this one use a towel or a kitchen towel or a regular towel or if you have a stretchy band, anything, you know, firm. Come on your back right away um, before we lay down, have your legs up, bend knee and just let them fall side to side a few times. So again, while you do this already, don't think about, this is a really important point actually, when we go for something and we warm up the body, no matter if it's an hour, no matter if it's one minute, be here present where you are and where you want to go. So if you do this, don't think about shopping, don't think about what you want to eat, don't think about what's happening afterwards. Really give yourself and your body that time and be fully in the present moment. So all the only thing we want to think and visualize and imagine is the goal is the front split. So even think about now while you do this, where you want to go, where you want to have your legs eventually, you know, to be in, in a split position. So come back and grab your towel. Bring the left shin in and Use your towel now and pull it in. So sorry, this is stage one. Stage one is with uh, your right leg, the standing leg uh, would bend me, and you pull in with your towel, the left shin towards you, shin in towards the upper body. So now here you're gonna extend the right leg. Still holding it, holding it, holding it. And now we exchange the leg. So, left leg is bent, standing right shin. You put the towel around and start pulling it in. First, maybe two, three, three times gently and then hold it there. Holding it, holding it, breathing and then slowly extending, in this case, the left leg, the standing leg. Now in this position, holding it, holding it, holding it. Great. Breathing in and out. So this is really any time when we're holding and not doing anything active, you work with the breath. Deep inhales and deep exhales. Now, letting the towel go, shake out the legs. And now, hum. having the right leg standing with a, a foot on the floor and fixing, fixing it. Reach arms in a, um, in an L, in a T, <laughs> aside from you, and now have your left leg extended on the floor and kick it up. So kick it up, one, two, and you kick it until you feel sensation in your hamstring, but not, not rounding. So this is happening many times that you only think about you need to bring the leg to the nose and then all this stuff is happening. No, we really try to only kick as much as we still feel our lower back on the mat. So if you're kicking and this is happening, go back. So feel the lower back and feel the connection of your core and kick it and kick it. Also feel keeping the hips parallel by the other leg that's standing, the knees not wobbling. So fix the other leg while your left leg is kicking for five more and four more and three more and two more. Now stay there and then exchange. Now shake it out and we do the same thing with the right leg. So left leg is in this kind of position. Arms are in the L or the T shape. I don't know why I said L or T, but be the arms in the T shape. Extend it on the floor, hold on. 
Now straighten the right leg and kick it up. So again, before you go in faster kicks, do a few slow ones and see where this moment is that you're going to feel the leg, <clears throat> where you're going to feel no pinching pain, no rounding in the back, okay? Long lower back and we lower it, kick it up, keep this kicking leg super straight, flexed parallel. And also the standing leg that's fixed, standing on the floor, don't let the knee wobble. So really go for the correct alignment. For 10 and 9 and 8, 7, also draw the chin in. 6 to create length in the spine. 5, 4 and 3 and 2 and 1. Hold it. And now, so here when you hold it, don't let the lower back round. Really press the lower back in the ground. And now, hold, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. And now, <clears throat> placing the right leg with bent knee, flat foot on the mat again. And wrap the towel now over the foot. So check this out. First, have the, the knee of this um, extended leg bent. The knee is bent and you can pull this towel that is wrapped around the foot towards you. So by bending the knee, this is what's happening, right? So try not to have it too far to the outside. Try to stay as parallel as possible. And now stay as close as possible with the left thigh on your body and stay here. Hold on and now extend the standing leg, the right leg. Extend it, flex it, really tighten it up. Have the knee pulled up, have the thigh activated, have the foot flexed and parallel the whole leg. And now in this position, so I of course have to go to show you um, in my range of motion. Here you can now start with the fixed leg to, to slowly straighten the knee of the, the leg that you're holding here. Slowly, slowly straighten the knee and at the same time I'm pulling onto my towel. But no pinching pain, guys, yeah? So if, if, you're, if your end straightness is here, that's perfect. Just be honoring where you are, honor the body where it is. Again, so find that, that place. For some people here, for some people here, for some people here. Find the place where you feel, you know, uh, there's movement sensation happening and start pulling it slowly, slowly, slowly. Feel the length of your lower back in the floor and hold it for 10, nine, eight, long spine. Seven, six, five, keep drawing it in. Four, three, two, one, slowly let go. Slowly let go, exchange the legs. Always when you change sides, give it a little shake, give it a little love in between. And now here, <clears throat> wrap the foot, uh, wrap the towel around the right foot now. And just, you know, draw it in, draw it in, draw it in. And then when you find, you know, the place where it feels comfortable, um, slowly now start straightening your left leg, which will be our standing leg, to the ground. And now fix the heel, fix the leg, pull up the kneecap, and tense the left thigh muscle. So this leg is now really forming a foundation leg. And now here, with this leg in the perfect shape. Start slowly, slowly, slowly pulling on the towel and then maybe extending, maybe not at the first time, but you're moving the leg towards the extension, yeah? So when you find that place, maybe you can't fully extend the knee, that's fine. You will feel it in your body when you know, okay, if I stay here, and I'm gonna set the breath, deep inhales and deep exhales. 
to the back and to the hamstring. You want to set the breath to the body parts where you need space to create the shape because breath is creating space. So in this case, we need space in the hamstring and we need space in the lower back. So inhale and exhale and send space through the breath to these body parts. And now maybe, maybe slowly you can more straighten that knee off that leg that we're pulling towards us. Again, try not to let it move in the diagonal. It wants to go there. Really force it back together. Probably your muscle starts to shake. That's a good sign, guys. That's a good sign. As long as there's no pinching, if there's shaking, absolutely go for it. And we hold it for last 10, 9, keep the flex, 8, 7, keep drawing the chin in to create space in the back, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and slowly come out of it, slowly come out of it. Good, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. And um, now, um, change back to the first leg, wrap, wrap it, and now hold it with wrapping the left foot, holding it with the right hand. Extend your right leg to the floor, and now you're gonna draw it over. So open your left arm to the T-shape, Pull with your right hand the left leg towards you and then slowly move to the pulling arm. And maybe already after two, three inches, you're gonna feel stop. So respect it. Now we are really hitting all the muscles that are running over the hip, over the um, thigh, over the booty, over the glutes. Um, hamstring. So this is an incredible shape uh, where you really feel all these connection links. Yeah. Give it some breaths here. Give it a few moments and then slowly let go. And by exchanging, what I like to do is just pretty much keep that loop. Exchange the foot. Exchange the arm. Um, straighten the left leg down. Now straighten the right leg up. Open the right arm to the side and slowly start pulling with the left leg that's holding the towel. And you can feel, I'm already feeling crazy sensation right now. Hip, glutes, side, hamstring. All these areas are targeted here. Hold it for a few seconds. Set the breath in here, breathing in and out, in and out, and then slowly guide it back. And slowly guide, help your leg come out. Throw the towel away, arrow away, and shake out the legs. Come up. And this is the end of this video. So only for yourself, once you stop here, you can now and try and go for the split again and just see how it feels with what we just did. Especially the last stretch is really opening up your hips and all these tendons that are running. You know, if you imagine the body, and there's so many lanes running. And you don't even need to know the names or the anatomy, but you're gonna feel it. Just spend time with your body. Spend time with your body, get to know it, and go for these little exercises, tools that I give you, and you will be in a split in some time. Thank you, guys.